Google Chrome is a privacy nightmare, but are there genuinely decent alternatives that respect your privacy and give you that amazing Chrome experience? Actually, yeah. Today we're covering our three favorite Chrome alternatives with a focus on privacy and usability so you can escape Google's clutches. Now you might ask what's wrong with Chrome, and the reality is a lot. Google Chrome continues to feed into Google's invasive privacy practices that are ruining the freedom of individuals and the internet as a whole. Google themselves track you within Chrome, they profile you within Chrome, they fingerprint you within Chrome, and Chrome is actively refusing to add privacy and security features to protect its own users from other third-party companies that other browsers have had for months, if not years. Chrome is the new internet explorer when it comes to valuing you as a user and your data, and if that's something that means anything to you, which I believe it should, it's time to upgrade to the modern age. Number three is an option commonly skipped over, your default browsers. On Apple devices, Safari is far more private than Chrome with its fingerprinting protection, sandboxing, and minimal data collection, while still offering strong security, fast speeds, excellent compatibility, and smoother integration with Apple's ecosystem. We recommend installing the open source AdGuard extension, which blocks ads, malicious websites, and blocks specific elements on websites. Over on Windows, and actually every other platform, Microsoft Edge is no longer a meme, hooray! It's now fully built on Chromium, the same browser engine that powers Google Chrome. So websites should function exactly as they did with Chrome, and Microsoft adds additional security and privacy protection to keep you safer. We recommend installing the uBlock Origin extension to take things a step further. Both of these browsers are proprietary and neither are the most private and secure options out there. But if your goal is be better than Chrome, they're actually not bad. Browser number two is Firefox, Better Firefox, and Best Firefox. Three small variants. Firefox is the Firefox you may know of from Mozilla's website. It offers many great privacy and security protections out of the box, and it's open source for transparency. With that said, Firefox is a bit of a transition from Chrome, as it's built on its own browser engine, and the user interface may feel unfamiliar to Chrome users. Better Firefox is a hardened Firefox, where you take the time to make it as private and secure as possible. While this is one of the most private and secure options, it comes at the cost of several time and usability sacrifices sacrifices, making the idea of this being a Chrome alternative not really the best one, especially since the option for hardening isn't even available on mobile. The concept of hardening Firefox just doesn't translate well here, so mobile is restricted to just basic Firefox with maybe an extension or two, which is still better than Chrome, but you won't completely match that hardened desktop experience. For the sake of this video, which is aimed at moving your average Chrome user to another browser without much friction, we're not going to suggest a hardened Firefox to most of those people. So, Best Firefox is a project called LibreWolf, a fork of Firefox. It offers out of the box almost all the privacy protection of a hardened Firefox, with one caveat, it doesn't have automatic updates. So if you're not using a package manager like a geek, the solution is to install the LibreWolf updates extension to check and download new versions for you. So this is really the best of both worlds. Now you've basically got a hardened Firefox for one of the most private and secure experiences out there in that convenient package but it's still only for desktop, so it's not the best cross-platform option if you want to have a seamless experience. Before our top pick, I did have a quick honorable mention, and that is Vivaldi. Vivaldi is kind of open source, not really, but at least it's probably going to give you better privacy than Chrome, while still being based on Chromium, and giving you a lot more customizability than Chrome. I actually find the UI pretty overwhelming myself, and I am not a fan of it, but a lot of people like Vivaldi, and even though I wouldn't put it above some of the other options on this list, I still think it's an honorable mention to throw your way as just another possible alternative to Chrome that's actually still based on Chromium and offers some neat features on top of things. Last but certainly not least, our number one browser to ditch Chrome for is Brave. Like Edge and Chrome, it's based on Chromium for a familiar experience, but it doesn't stop there. It's open source, has some of the strongest privacy and security protections of any browser out there, blocks ads by default, adds genuinely attractive features for users, is faster than Chrome, and this is all pretty much out of the box with a familiar interface to Chrome, and this carries over to almost all operating systems. Brave is basically Chrome without the spyware. I personally had a lot of luck migrating several people in my life from Chrome to Brave, and pretty much all of them end up preferring Brave as it does everything Chrome does just better. The only thing is Brave has what we call crypto crap, which can be completely removed from the UI with a few settings toggles, but this is the only friction point. 
And on that note, a bonus tip for all browsers today is to make sure to go in the settings to opt out of everything you can for a more private experience on whatever browser you ended up picking. While all the options today are great alternatives to Chrome, Brave seriously hit the nail on the head, making it almost silly not to switch to it from Chrome. It's actually such a great option that we've extensively covered a lot more of the finer details of Brave and all of the great work they're doing here. And no, we're not paid by them, nor do we even have Brave Rewards. It's just genuinely a great option for people, and that video I think clears up why that is. See you in that video, and we'll see you next time on TechLore. Thank you for watching.